George Russell lamented a lousy race at Melbourne's Albert Park, criticising Sunday's decision to bring in the first red flag of the Australian Grand Prix as completely unnecessary. The Mercedes driver exploded in flames and smoke from the back of car on lap 18, forcing him into only his second retirement since transition from Williams after the 2021 World Championship. But the British driver's troubles began when race control applied a red flag after the Alex Albon crash on lap 7. Read Absolute Turmoil. Piastri Mars F1 Breakthrough Reed Dogs, Clutch, Game Steals Epic Gold Points, Win Reed Jones Picks 18-Year-Old Star, In Wallabies Cast George Russell Jumps Out of His Mercedes, As He Exits the Australian Grand Prix. Albon finished 6th, when he lost control, at Turn 7, and destroyed his Williams in the process. A safety car was called in, and Russell, leader of the course, took opportunity to pit for a tyre change while his opponents had to slow down. However, decision to red flag race due to gravel on track gave Russell's opponents free tyre changes, and 25-year-old started in 7th place. Formula One reporter Luke Smith wrote on Twitter that Russell branded his decision to red flag the race as completely unnecessary. Russell also criticized the decision while speaking to Formula One TV. I was quite disappointed at first with the decision to red flag the race, Russell said. There are no words for that. Obviously we had a similar situation in Saudi Arabia, where the security tool was unnecessarily exposed. But I thought we made right decision, we pitted, I think it was the right decision under safety car. I was surprised to see Lewis and Max stay out, and was quite pleased when I saw that because thought it worked for me. Alex Albon dodges his Williams after crashing at the Australian Grand Prix. Via Clive Mason, and then the red flag ruined everything. It was good to start over. I think it would have been tough to beat Fernando, but we were right there. It's a shame to be sitting here right now. Russell's day took an even worse turn when the fire and smoke rising from the back of his Mercedes forced him to retire. I guess when it's not your day, it's not your day, he wrote on Twitter. The Australian Grand Prix has been red flagged three times. The race was stopped when Kevin Magnussen crashed on turn two on lap 55, and his right rear wheel fell off as debris from his Haas spread across the track. After a restart on lap 57, the race was halted again as turmoil reigned and Carlos Sainz trimmed Alonso at turn one causing the Alpine duo Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon to collide. The race finally came to an end with Verstappen winning the back of a safety car.